God, you moved again. Nice. <laughs> check, check. Check any check. Place. Yeah, right. How we how we yeah, sounding now? I was about to say, Moose, you got any natural light at your house? Oh yeah, it's right behind this curtain, but it's just a big pain in the ass, especially when I'm sleeping, because so obviously they have lights around the complex, um, and I need to sleep in like as dark as I can, so it just uh, doesn't cut it. So I had to buy a blackout curtain. Love that for you. So what I was telling, what, what I was saying, and no one heard was, uh, yeah, Moose moved uh, inside of a uh, nightclub and um, is down now. Na- <laughs> Is now down in. Well, you can't uh, see that he's ankle deep in coke right now. Exactly, exactly. Uh, episode seventy seven, uh, red uh, red fast review awards part three. We are a three man uh, pod tonight. Um, no bear, no pleated. Uh, didn't have a chance to reach out to USN, so we'll, we'll hold down the fort. Moose, thank you very much, Memento Mikey in here early. Bear in here, listening along as he preps for a big day at work tomorrow. Emily, welcome in, welcome in. Um, and uh yeah moose how was the move how are you it's been a bit uh yeah no i'm doing pretty good it's been a a little bit of a roller coaster so we made the uh made the drive with my dad he uh doesn't like to be the passenger he was a truck driver for a long time so he uh he kind of likes driving so uh we made the nash we left monday probably around midnight um got all the way to nashville in about 15 16 hours um Stayed in uh, just outside Nashville for a little bit um, for two days. Did some fishing there, uh, which was a lot of fun. And then uh, stayed. Are they known for west. fishing? Um, not really. But then, so we we spent a night there, and then uh, got a cabin on a lake a little uh, ways outside of Dallas because uh, he's a big fisher. I enjoy fishing. Uh, the lake we stopped at at the cabinet has the state record for, uh, bass apparently in Texas at 18 pounds. So didn't catch any, uh, that big, but got a, get a nice couple little bass. Um, and now my car is actually in the shop. Uh, I guess I got to get the whole exhaust replaced. Uh, so that's going to be fun. So going to work out a rental car here pretty soon. Cause uh, I don't really have much here. I've been walking to get my food. Food, which is a gas station, a Wendy's, and a Popeyes. That's about a quarter mile, quarter mile away. And, oh my uh, word! That is the saddest uh, sentence I've ever heard in my life. I've been too... walking to get my food, <laughs> yeah. which is a gas station, a Popeyes, and a Wendy's. And uh. folks, let me tell you, what was the text <laughs> message that we got from Moose earlier today? Wendy's makes me sad. Oh yeah, I got a Baconator, <laughs> and they didn't put bacon on it. No, yeah, that, that, that is, is sad. Not true. Yeah. I, I embarrassed no I embarrassed myself. So the doors are locked, right? I don't have a car. So luckily it wasn't busy. I walked through the drive through, which Narwhal can confirm. Um they let you do so that, that apparently, yeah. I, like I was standing behind a truck and then no one was behind me. I'm I walk up to the to the window where you get your food and I was like, Hey, like I sorry, I don't want to walk through the drive thru, but I don't have a car, I'm hungry. Like, can I place an order? And she the manager was great um so that went smoothly and then i walked back to my apartment with my food and there was no bacon on my baconator you had, you already found a dry cleaner as well <laughs> uh yeah there, no i didn't go back <laughs> uh yeah so that's that's the chair we decided not to go with today i'll, I'll actually show you um this is my chair for tonight it's a Ooh, uh, a nice box What's in it? Yeah, nice little. Ikea we, should box. we just do a uh, like a a what is it uh, like a box opening on stream? Should we just turn into <laughs> one of those podcasts? In inside the box is actually a chair from IKEA, um, but in order to return it, you can't really take it out of the box. Um, that is not I plan on. True. I don't, well, I wasn't gonna build it and then take it apart and then take it back. Um, anyway, I get a chair coming tomorrow, so. Um, that'll be nice because this is not very comfortable as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting through it. It's still not adapted to the heat. It's supposed to be about, uh, 90 to 95 the rest of this week. Uh, so that'll be fun. Central air, AC. What do you got in there? Yeah. 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 We got central air. I got ceiling fans. Um, so we're definitely able to stay cool in the apartment, which is, uh, which is always nice. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely need something along those lines. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? How far are you away from your work? 
I am only about a 10 minute drive. So, uh, real close. I how, think it's how, long, how, how long, how long, how long, long a walk? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Luckily, uh, my same apartment complex, I got a couple of coworkers. So, uh, able to get a ride, uh, with one of them tomorrow. And, uh, I should have a rental car in the next, uh, couple days here. There you go. There you go. I'd love to hear it, Moose. I'm, I'm proud of your journey. Rob, the what's fact new? That you in... didn't get uh, kidnapped in a truck or in a truck stop. Uh, <laughs> only makes me happier. Mm. Yeah, the, the, I, there's going to be some great stories from you in Texas. All your first experiences. I can't wait. <laughs> You're going to be talking about buying cowboy boots and a ten gallon hat next this week. Is a I man can't who's wait. Never made a do, burger do, in his life. Do you remember? <laughs> Do you remember when uh, a couple months ago I was back up in Utica? I was like, I kind of want a cowboy hat. And then this whole thing happened. So now you can't blame me when I actually go out and buy a cowboy hat someday. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rob, what's new your way? Anything uh, anything fun and exciting? Standard uh, brewery stuff? Standard brewery stuff. I got How's the baby doing? the trivia night tonight. I got to design some labels tonight. Ooh. I've got a f yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, tr we, do you have any uh, good uh, extra questions from the previous tw trivias that haven't, uh, or like maybe went off? Get a good yeah. one to pop up? I, I do have a good one. Uh, this was perhaps my most favorite question I've ever asked in the history Ooh. of the Old Cavs Trivia Gauntlet, or even going all the way back no. to the Trivia Night of Fun and Wonder. This is my favorite question oh. I've ever asked. Oh, Are you guys let's ready? lay it on us. Yep. I'm ready. According to the three streaks on his uniform sleeve, Captain Crunch's mascot, Horatio Magellan Crunch, actually holds what rank in the Navy? Three, you said three stripes? Yes. Shoot. Chief Petty Officer. Navy ranks are different, too. I don't think it's a Petty Officer, but I can't think of a better answer. I'll go corporal. I don't know. It's not a corporal. Any guess, K KB? I, uh, I said chief petty officer. No. It, Memento Mikey is correct. He's actually Commander Crunch. Really? Oh. Yeah. Very interesting. Yes, I, I kind of like that's, the way the Commander really Crunch one. rolls off the tongue a little bit, too. <laughs> right? I know, right? Uh, but also, here's what I may not have mentioned to you guys. is that So we're heading into our 11th episode of the Old Cavs Trivia Gauntlet. Yeah. And uh, the ongoing joke is that I have had a question about Top Gun every single week. <laughs> oh, my God. So just, like, sneak it in there every which way. Oh, yeah. And then so sometimes I'll put it in the third round so that and then I make a joke and then I make a question in the first round that people think that it's the top answers, Top Gun. And, <laughs> yeah. and uh, then they get it wrong because it's like, what soundtrack has yada, yada, yada? They go Top Gun. I'm yeah. like, nope, it was We Were Soldiers. Sorry. <laughs> or yeah, like, you know, you, you could always just like make a reference to, yeah, Tom Cruise played in uh, Tom Top Gun here, but then how many years later did he play in this movie or something like that? Yeah. Like, you, and then you know. Last week's was uh, which Las Vegas uh, hotel currently displays his flight suit from Top Gun? Ooh. Um, I only know about there should be an obvious answer to this. I would imagine I'm gonna go Bellagio. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Planet Hollywood. Never heard of it. You've never heard of Planet what? Hollywood? I I mine right have, dead center on the strip. It's like the biggest. It's one of the biggest. Oh, I've never um, been there. But also, it what was, movie the is Planet that? Planet Hollywood in? was a was a restaurant chain across the country. Yeah, where they would. I, I think I've heard about it in like mm. a TV show or something, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planet Hollywood's yeah. fantastic. It's right across the street from uh, Bellagio and next to like uh, Paris and um, the Cosmo. Good good stuff over Planet Hollywood. One of my favorite hotels. They got a great sports book too. Not that I've been. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get to some sports. Um, nothing too much new my Rob way. Down all bit? Turn down, Rob. Yeah, fish okay. is a little loud. Yeah, quite yeah, yeah. Aggressive, to quote the fish. All right, he's he's dialed back a little bit. How about that? Um, sports happened. Um, we're all one and one, including Bear, including USN, including Pleated. Everyone's one and one on the pod. Look at that. Um, bounce back week for uh, the Patriots and Niners. Love to see that. I guess and the uh, Cowboys as well. Which who really Real cares? Big bounce back week for Jimmy Garoppolo. Let me tell you. Yep, big bounce back. <laughs> and uh, bet, you know, I bet the Toxic SK fifty dollars that Jimmy Garoppolo would start a game this season for any team in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> Easy money. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Already getting that no. week three. And yeah, he, he's getting like three. he's getting what, like three, four hundred thousand dollars or no, a quarter million every uh 000. start. Or no, twenty five percent of snaps essentially. Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a win. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. But like it's just a quarter a quarter of that, like a quarter mil of that is just if he plays twenty five percent or more of the snaps. Which is insane, but yes, yeah, yeah, three fifty total per per uh, snap. Um, let's take a look at the uh, scores real quick. We'll run it down. We won't go as in depth last time because we ran way too long uh, last time. Uh, where that's week one, that's week two. Where does it start? Here we go. Uh, Chiefs beat the Chargers in what which, which was a fantastic game. Uh, Herbert looks that's fantastic. One of the best Thursday night games we've seen in a while. Yeah, time. I mean some of these primetime games, even on Thursdays, have been awesome. The Bills, the Bills uh, Rams one wasn't bad last week, um, but both teams I think are going to be very good. And I think the sneaky thing to take away from this game is the Chargers defense is damn good. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens there. That's going to be a great battle in the AFC West. Uh, Patriots sneak one out versus the Steelers. They don't don't necessarily play great, but they kind of got fortunate on a few plays. They had a muff punt that go, went their way. Um, Nelson Aguilar made a great catch, and then there was also a interception that was dropped by the Steelers. So very very fortunate the Patriots t- take away this one. Um, but they had some calls kind of go the wrong way in the first game. So I think it's kind of evening out. And I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about the one and one Patriots at the moment. I don't think there's anything to write home about. But I think they're going to be a battling around 500 team all year. So they'll be competitive. Um, Giants are 2-0. and um, That's kind of a weird one. My uh, favorite thing about that was the video of the coach in the locker room goes, Guys, I know nobody expected us to be here where we are, but y'all are scrappy. And, you know, it may be even a surprise to us, but we're scrappy. It's like you're <laughs> literally just telling your team they're dog shit and that this is a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> no one thought we'd be here, but we did it. Yeah, yeah it, exactly. it, it it is a scrappy team. Like, I don't really like them, but, like, at the same time, like, you have one of the best offensive weapons in the game in Saquon Barkley, and, like, Daniel Jones sometimes looks good, but sometimes look really, really bad, too. So it's like, eh, I don't know. Um, one team that looks really, really bad at times is the New York Jets. The other team is the team that they played that even looks really, really bad at some other at points, which is the Cleveland Browns, who had a, two t- a 13-point lead, uh, they needed an extra point to make it 14 points with two minutes left in the game, and they blew it. Uh, the factory of sadness, as Bear would say, is has returned. Um, Cade York starts by missing an extra point. Uh, Nick Chubb actually could have gone down, and the game would have been over. Jets get a huge touchdown, and then an onside kick, and then another touchdown, and win it in regulation. Just an ultimate Browns collapse into one of the worst teams in football. So I guess you could say the Browns are back too, but it's uh, it's sad days in in Cleveland. Uh, Amari Cooper botched the uh, onside kick, so I don't don't know. I, I feel like they have a talented roster, but... It is also Jacoby Brissett starting, who I don't think really lost them the game. He threw a pick on the last drive, but uh, you know, it's it tough to tough to blame him with a very short clock to uh, do something with it. The biggest upset of the day: the Jags stunning twenty four nothing the Colts. You guys see this one? We'll tell you that. No, I, I think I think Trevor Lawrence is just what the wettest fart of a quarterback, especially from a leadership perspective. But the team has talent. Uh, if they can just stitch it together to make to make some plays. You know, the Colts haven't won in like at Jacksonville in like eight years. It's something crazy it's like that. Easy money. It, it's it, in uh, the Jags just have the Colts number. It's kind of crazy. And uh, yeah, I think I think Trevor Lawrence is coming around personally. Um, I don't think the Matt Ryan uh, project is going to work out in Indy, that's for sure. I think that's going to be short-lived. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the fantasy values of like Jonathan Taylor and Michael Pittman, who Pittman didn't even play, but um, very, very I, bizarre. What the fuck, man? Yeah, he was injured. In fucking practice on Wednesday. Jesus, that really... My fantasy team is not is going to squeak by maybe this week. And I know. It may, it may a, even happen. A lot of bizarre injuries thus far, but I guess that's kind of par for the course for football. Um Dolphins Ravens, holy moly, what a game this was! 
the fourth quarter, the Dolphins were down by 21 points, and they came back to win in regulation over the Ravens. Both uh, Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill both had sensational stat lines. I got to bring this up because it's just like, and obviously Tua, um, because he's the one throwing them the ball. NFL scores. Tyreek Hill, 11 for 192 touchdowns on 13 targets. Jalen Waddle, 11 for 172, two touchdowns on 19 targets. 19 targets. That's insanity. Um, Tua goes for 469 and six touchdowns. Like, have yourself a fantasy day, and no one started him in fantasy probably across any single league, which is so funny, too. <laughs> Who's the random person who fucking started him on right. DraftKings and then ended up walking away <laughs> with $10, Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're like, yeah, I'm just going to go all in on Miami and start Tua and Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle and see what happens. Hey, the, the fucked up thing is the person who started Tua probably started Jonathan Taylor and got absolutely fucking BF'd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, Lamar Jackson had a heck of a stat line, too. He went 21 for 29, three touchdowns, no picks, over 100 yards rushing in a touchdown, too. Fucking like The defense lost the game. Like, yeah, no 100%. Around. And that's very bizarre of a John Harbaugh team. Last week we were talking, I mentioned briefly, or the week before, about like my top coaches in the NFL, and I was saying John Harbaugh is one of them. A blown lead like this literally just moves him down a spot or two. Like that is inexcusable. Twenty-one points versus Tua in the fourth quarter. You you're supposed to be known for your defense. Like I know he's originally a special teams guy, but like Baltimore's like I feel like Baltimore's just always has that stereotype of being a good defense between them and Pittsburgh. It's like they must have a good defense or some sort of good defense. Um but that was a sad, sad loss for the Ravens. So it'll, it will be interesting to see what happens with the AFC North. Uh, Browns losing, Ravens losing, um, Steelers losing, and who's the other team? Bengals losing. They all lost. Jesus, I didn't even realize that. Um, Buck Saints. Uh, very low scoring. Yeah, that, got, that got a little chippy in the, in the middle of the game. Yeah, Mike Evans got tossed because he fought Marshawn Lattimore for the 30th time in his career. And, uh, I mean, every skill position player was out, basically. Mike Evans barely made it into the game. Chris Godman was out. Um, Julio Jones was out. Alvin Kamara was out. It was like, who was actually playing in this game? Um, and the box kind of squeaked it away with defense, really. It, it was like 3-3 in the third quarter in this game, and then finally... Uh, Brady threw a bomb like 40 yards to uh, get the Bucks tip it over to the to their side. Um, Bucks, I think they're they're just gonna be good all year. They're gonna be decent, you know. I mean, Brady looked a little weird. Did you guys see him in the press conference? How like slim his face looked? It, 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 yeah, his stem cells are wearing off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he'll have it this year. Uh, Lions, the Lions look good. And now, Jeez, and now he gets every Wednesday off. Do you see that? Brady? Mm-hmm. Brady gets every Wednesday off as a personal day now. He doesn't have to practice huh. on Wednesdays. You're I kidding mean, me. Good for him, right? Yeah. What a, what a life. Um, Lions beat the Commanders. I mean, that's a couple of other sad teams right there, just like the Jets and Browns. But uh, the Lions why actually look I, decent. Why do I... Oh, Amon Raj is fucking... Amon Ra St. Brown okay. is fantastic. Yeah, and DeAndre saying. Swift, too. Uh, uh, why are the Lions just a team that I always hope do well? Like I know, like, I you know what it it's is. Kind of like the Cubs of baseball, or uh, the every Cubs year, of I bet you mentally you're in the same boat. Every year, and I, you probably don't actually do this. I bet on the Lions on Thanksgiving, and I bet against the Cowboys oh. on Thanksgiving, and it's just like I kind of want to root for this team, and I kind of want to no. root against this team, even if you I don't mean, actually nobody... have financial implications on it. It's like, yeah, it's, it'll be a feel good story to see Joey Harrington win today. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, what a throwback! Moose, dude, Moose was still shitting in his pants when he was there. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. He was yeah, still shitting in his like pants when Jared week, Goff too. played too. What? <laughs> oh boy. Um. Anyways, the Lions look decent. They're their number two overall pick, Aiden Hutchinson, had three sacks. So um, you know, maybe they're th- maybe they're turning things around and have like a decent roster. But at the same time, like the Commanders, eh, they they uh, they they kind of shit the bed. Rob's 49ers, damn, did they look good? I mean, despite the Trey Lance injury, which obviously was a strong disappointment, but partially it, it's kind of like you know the silver lining. I'll put it this way: is 
it's never good to have like a QB contract. Like it's good and bad. And it it, it yeah. removes all of the bad of having the QB controversy. I think most 49ers fans were probably fine with either quarterback going in, but like you really were just getting antsy to see Lance more than anything in his potential. I, I, that's like I was it was, you know, it's the idea of having a fun quarterback, you know, mm, like mm-hmm. a fun quarterback. A Lamar Jackson type. Watch. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And uh it's uh, it's really. I feel bad for him more than anything, and uh, but what it does is it shows that the 49ers front office just executed the greatest insurance policy in the history of the NFL. Mm-hmm. the The contract restructure to keep him under center, to keep him on the team will turn out to be one of the best, one of the most incredible stories of the year uh, about the NFL. I, I guarantee, like I guarantee it. Like I truly believe the 49ers are going to make are going to make the playoffs this year. I think that. I th- and I truly believe that it could have been with Trey. It, it will be with Jimmy. Um, I just, I just, it's unfortunate, especially to have such a terrible injury. Uh, mm. But it's unfortunate that uh, we will not get to see such an exciting offense this year with Trey and Debo and Brandon Ayuk and Kittle. It's just is he coming know. back anytime soon? I drafted Kittle? him and like, good lord, Kittle? just disappointing. Yeah. He practiced last week, but they oh, okay. with the weather they didn't want to risk it on a if he on an if he field situation. Fair enough, fair enough. Hope to see him again because I, I mean I I genuinely just like watching him play with beside Gene my fantasy Smith, team. That bitch ass, we didn't need him. Yeah, well, uh, you know they, what? What did he say? They wrote me off. They didn't, but uh, I didn't write back. Well, I think they wrote you off again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because they, Seattle clearly blew their load in the first game of the season because they wanted that revenge game on Russell so bad. Um, and I can't see Seattle doing just about anything the rest of the year. Um, Ram, Rams hold on to squeak by the Falcons. That was kind of a tight one at the end that didn't need to be tight. Falcons got like a pick six or like a fumble recovery for six and then an onside kick to make that one close. Rams do hold on, though. I think Allen Robinson got a uh, late touchdown. Um, Cardinals Raiders, holy crap, another wild one. They, they win in overtime. Kyler Murray scores a touchdown at the last minute and gets a two point conversion to tie it to go to overtime. That was nuts. That, that was a crazy game to watch. Um, that just happened to be in the busiest time of the bar, mm-hmm. and uh, it was just one of those things where everybody was quiet and everybody was facing the same direction because we were just all watching the Raiders blow this fucking game, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, uh, man, I feel bad for Doby if he's out there listening. Raiders fans, like, you had a, you have a real promising-looking team this year. I mean, picking – what happened to Devontae Adams? Didn't he have, like, 18 targets oh. last week? He had two catches this week? Are yeah, you kidding me? It was absent. Absent for sure. How does that happen? Um, just, like, very bizarre letting that comeback happen, and then on top of it um, – you know, Hunter Renfro of all people fumbles it in uh, scoop and score for the Falcon. I mean, the uh, Cardinals to win in overtime. Oh. Um, what, a, what an electric play! Yeah, that was that was awesome. Uh, next up, Broncos Texans. Texans. I can't imagine they're that good this year. Broncos actually look surprisingly bad themselves. So I mean, both of these teams kind of mediocre to kind of on the lower tier. But everyone thought the Broncos would probably be a little bit better adding Russell Wilson, but. Uh, Surprisingly, only 16 points, and then they, they had a big, big blunder with all their penalties, like a couple delay of games what? again. Listen, like Russell Wilson's fucking old. Yeah, he can barely walk. Why are we still considering him an elite level quarterback? Like I don't, I have never under like he had the two terrible fucking years in a row, and I, I like. He, it just doesn't make sense to me that he just got this extension for that much money when the guy looks like he's in pain every single step. Mm. It's, it's kind of like the latter years of Drew Brees. You know what I mean? It's like he has that name recognition. He has a Super Bowl under his belt, and it's like he he has that name brand. Like he must still be good. The general manager, for, like for the Broncos, just absolutely shit the bed on this deal. Like I do not understand. Mm. Like. When he's saying Broncos Nation, let's ride, he's talking about a fucking wheelchair. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 14 for 31. That is not a good completion percentage at all. Um, but, 45 QBR, is that good? Yeah. Last time like I checked, golf, no. a smaller number. <laughs> that seems like a love scud uh, round more than uh, QBR. 
Um, Bengals Cowboys. Uh, Cowboys sneak one out versus the Bengals with Cooper Rush. Pleated that guy about pleated pants is uh, uh, a smile on his face. I mean, Cooper Rush. I mean, Bengals are 0 2 after losing that heartbreaker versus Pittsburgh um, in overtime week one. So Bengals lost two heartbreakers. Super Bowl hangover, you can definitely say. Um, Joe Burrow not looking fantastic at the moment, but he's also not having protection, and Micah Parsons looked like a beast yet again. The Cowboys just had a couple decent drives early and then just really held on, um, not letting the Bengals really play um, too well offensively and just kind of you know man- manage that lead and... You know, I think the Cowboys, they, they're they going to have a chance in that division. I don't think Philly's anything special. And, like, the Giants are 2-0, and but, like, do we really think the Giants are that good? I, I think the Cowboys could hang in there with Cooper Rush if, they, if their defense is playing that well. And then, finally, Packers stomp all over the Bears. And as I called forward last week, I'm like, Aaron Jones is a way better player than A.J. Dillon. As much as I like A.J. Dillon and think he's a good player, you need to get Aaron Jones more involved, and that's exactly what the Packers did, and they dominated. So, <laughs> not that I, you know, um, I want to take full credit or anything for that, but it was like it, it just seemed too obvious to me. It was like they force feed, well, they were force feeding AJ Dillon week one. It was driving me nuts. I'm like, Aaron Jones is a very, very skilled player, and um, you know they finally got him the ball more. So, we'll see what happens. You want me a Super Bowl. It, oh, enough uh, f- fantasy. <laughs> There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Bills currently leading 17-7 over the Titans. I think we'll all expect the Bills to win that game. And then uh, Eagles have an early lead 7 yeah, nothing over the, the Vikings. Broke his fucking neck on the field. Who did? Did he really? Yeah, they brought out the ambulance and everything. Didn't cart him off, ambulance off. Who, who was? No. Uh, I forget his name. Oh. It was gross. Really gross. Yeah. I need to kind of video. The Red Fast Review sends our uh, thoughts and prayers. Yeah, thoughts and prayers. Jeez, that's, I mean, honestly, ne- never good to hear. So, um, anyways, moving on, community corner time. So, uh, we'll kind of breeze through the NFL because uh, we have a lot of awards to get to. So, I want to make sure we uh, it, give us ample the time. the podcast we're on where me and Rob are both a part of the awards? Probably because it's only know, the third. I, so, I, I mean, this you I haven't been here the last I'm two weeks. So, before, yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, but anyways, uh, let's get to, uh, some community corner stuff. So these are just clips that happened throughout the community this past week. We have a Seamount clip. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to like kind of learning the new game, you know, Ooh, look at this. Oh, hold on. One's an Eagle guys. Oh, hold on. One is an Eagle. Bang. Are we on one point? Yeah, we are. We're Shot glasses speed. out. I was going to say, he's talking pretty new fast. Game, you know? <laughs> yeah, he did a line of blow this. right before it. Oh, hold on. One's an Eagle guys. A hold on. One is an Eagle. Bang. Bang! Shot glasses. So he's the playing one the. Time uh, he doesn't say go in. I know, I know. And we have the go in award tonight. And I think it's. I think we're just going to go to his page and look at some uh, clips for a yeah, few right? minutes. <laughs> um, anyways, I didn't really have too many clips from this past week, so just kind of give an update because we didn't do it last week on the uh, match play stuff. Uber actually advanced over Love Scud. Believe it or not, in uh, the True Sim match play, he's going to be playing Snoopy in the final match of the winner's bracket. Love Scud has the uh, fortunate uh, occurrence of playing yours truly, so I'm going to play him in the loser's bracket. Ooh. Winner gets to play, I guess, the winner of Z Colbster and uh, Mikey Angelo or Map Collector. So, uh, yeah, that, that should be a fun week. Uh, I'll be trying to schedule this with Love Scud this, this week. And then we have. Uh, uh, I don't have the PlayStation 1, but the PlayStation 1 is also going on as well. Um, okay, I think that is pretty much it for Community Corner. Let's go to Red Fast Review Twitter. Let's see who won last week's events first. You need to refresh the screen on the Discord there. Because we're only getting, uh, there it is. You're on Seamount still. I'm just, I'm just looking forward yeah. to like, yeah. Oh God! Oh no! I click Steam. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Good going, your, Rob. There goes there your we go. We're good. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna blow up. Okay, so let's take a look. Who won last week? So uh, we had cel- uh, a celebration of the year. Community vote and Hemo getting his fifty. 50. Ah! 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 
Jebi, welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid. Yeah, very rough week for Adams. I'm gonna pass. I I'm okay. I'm gonna pass out. I'm okay. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Last minute today, USN. I was gonna reach out, but I didn't want to uh, bother you ten minutes before the pod. Um, Shank of the year ended up winning uh, for was G Dog, and then the bounce of the year, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Borden Acted gets like it for that. his uh, his English off of this. Uh, Acted like they want to actually fix it. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> what a shot! Fucking believe that. <laughs> I know. I, I forget I, all I about never, it. It never ceases to make my jaw hit the goddamn floor. So we've given out six awards. We're going to try to give out six more um, in the next week. Uh, we'll go through some tonight. Maybe we'll and uh, give some awards right on pod. But uh, without further ado, let's go right into it. We have the first one: sound bite of the year. Oh yeah. yeah. Let me scroll to where that is. Here we go. The first one will go to Bear. Why not? It's always good to hear from Bear. I don't. I don't even. I put these here a while ago, so I don't even remember what it is. Good. Good. Oh, I actually do remember this. Oh, it gets there. Oh. 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 <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, Give me one more time. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. That one never gets old. It's in one of his top clips, and just like every time I click on his channel, it just is right up there. Um, always a great one. His A Stone Canadian. Oh, this is a fantastic. We've got a par three in front of us here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're all par three, John. Fuck, haven't you gotten that yet? <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, man. This is Stone Canadian playing a par three course, and it's the eighth oh, hole. Yeah. And John's like, looks like we have a par three here. Looks like we've got a par three in front of us here. Yeah, they're all par three, John. Fuck, Did haven't you gotten that yet? Holy oh, fuck, it. man. <laughs> Just the... Has anybody I, done that yet? Oh, I doubt it. Well, the... the what I find really good too is you know, so you know he's blasted at this point, right? It's probably midnight, one a.m. So he's he's throwing a couple back. Oh, you're saying send and that to sent that to John? Yeah, yeah, yeah tweeted yeah. at John. He would love it. He he loves it. Of course, uh, he engages with the community the, all the time. Just how mm -hmm. how quick Stoned was with that comment too was great. Yeah, like he didn't that's exactly what second, makes it just yeah. straight to his head. <laughs> like just casually eating his nachos or chips or whatever, <laughs> you know. All right, here we go with... Uh... If you ain't chipping it in, then where the fuck you at? This is who, Dad? If you ain't chipping it in, then where the fuck you at? Uh, just kind of out of nowhere. <laughs> that one's always a good one. Um, who Dad without a hat. I know, I know. That was old school who Dad days. That is from last year. We have two more. This one's from Chewy. This is actually from this like past I week, I this. but we we all know his celebrations. Just two taps. Have to be on brand. Be enough. And I'm sure Bear has some some of these sound bites archived away too, so we'll have oh, to do a definitely. better better job of getting them next year because he's the king of getting them. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Just, just the chew, the chewy noise always gets me. And then, uh, last but not least, Uber. Ah, uh, he's he's up on the bank instead. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh man! Oh. Uh, what do we think, boys? Do we are there? Uh, so there, there was five there. Just to recap, there was Bear, Canadian, Hoodad, Chewy, and Uber. To me, I think Bear and Uber 
and Canadian stand out a little bit over Houdad and Chewy. Would you agree? Yeah, those are definitely my top three. Okay. Um, Should we put I, it up like... for a vote between those three? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. We'll put it up for a vote between those those three on Twitter for the next week for soundbite of the year. Alrighty. Um, next next award is going to be what? Uh, what Jeb, uh, da, 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 Uber is cl- yeah. Uber is classic. Uber is a classic. All right. Troll of the year. So these are just like various things throughout the game. I'm going to save this one for last. Let's do. Um, all right. This one, it's it's a hemo clip, but the troll is by the course designer. I'm not sure who the course designer is. What? Oh. <laughs> what? That caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, it was Jives. Harry Ruff! <laughs> Dude, that ball is looking so good, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I love it. So I guess Jives gets the first nomination there. I was gonna see, he gets so upset, he uh, backs up into his green screen there. I didn't even mm-hmm. notice that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right we have map collector he's 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 uh trying to do a speed run here ball and hole on the 18th uh is the way to play it let's see how fast he uh does it hi there welcome to the golf course At the john deere classic we are in Silvis, illinois and we're about to experience tpc deer oh, he's, run. oh fantastic course out there all right let's send it this could be good. No laying up for you today, hey? Okay. Are you serious? First. Wow. Oh, I forgot to third shot. Oh my no. Did you go to the wrong <laughs> hole? I forgot. I forgot to do my splits. He literally shot it with draw from the first tee onto the 18th green in a split second, and then tapped it in for whatever. He wasn't playing the, that hole, but like he does all these speed runs, and you obviously have to play through the whole course or nine holes or whatever. And I just thought this one was funny when I was watching it because he's like, you know what? Screw it. I mean, it's ball and hole on the 18th hole, so he just went right to the 18th green. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was a confusing one, but I, I thought that was funny. Uh, here's Polak trolling Hemo. Oh, man. That's Back Hemo driving bed. to pick up. There's a girl. Hey, guys. I need another. Anyone uh, got another uh, phone book laying around? I need one more phone book to be able to see over the steering wheel. <laughs> Just one more phone book, please. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, oh, God. I love Polak so much. Yeah, I miss that guy. Here is so, Gamer so he Delay. Back for 23? What's that? What uh, hopefully. You... I don't know. Here's Gamer Ability. This one could have been up for shot of the year. What do, what, if, th- if we make this, what would happen? I, you know, I'm a man of my Only word, one way Uber. To find out. I'm a man of my word. Five pack here, okay. Five pack. I think I'm gonna have to slow this as well. I think I'm gonna have to slow this. I don't think this is mathematically possible. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. <laughs> And if best shot of my career uh, i i think i peak i think it's time peak peak yeah. gamer it, it, the fact that he says i think i have to slow it and he hits a red slow on top of it in there right. unbelievable um here's lex hand <laughs> oh, <laughs> over the mouth dude <laughs> i don't know if he get knocks it right yeah. on the green too and then we can try to pause it okay. here. Oh. <laughs> this guy just standing in the water. <laughs> Not necessarily a troll, but that, that it, I don't know. I just threw it in that category. And then finally, this one was a legit troll by Love Scud. 
Number two in the world would you put would yeah. have put you a lot closer. There this fucking guy. No way that Fuck off, Scud. <laughs> fuck off. You put would have put you a lot closer. There this fucking guy. No way that Fuck off, Scud. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> it sounds like the year too on Uber's channel. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna. I personally am gonna say between that one, Gamer's Driver, uh, I'm gonna put Map Collector, and then we'll we'll say Jives for the top four on that. Do you guys have any arguments? Leaving uh, Polak and Lex out. Put that up no. for vote. Alrighty. I, I liked Polak, but it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't uh, actually I, I, a I, golf. I, I, yeah, you know, exactly. it was just like a sound bite it, more more than mm -hmm. anything. Alrighty, putt of the year. Let's take a look at these. Where are those? Okay. Let's start with Uber. Wait for it. The fuck? Oh, no. <laughs> And oh no! Wow! <laughs> oh, no. How toxic! <laughs> oh, one of the most toxic greens. I was like, how is that gonna break left? Yeah, and I was then, like, you're telling me this goes back? This is L boy on the same hole. <laughs> bye bye. That's so cruel. Was that a? Yeah, it's gonna be a plaque course, right? Yeah, I, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's bad design. Who did that? It's yeah, it's just it. so cruel. Uh, like even luckily, the rocks there to stop it, that just do yeah. nothing. Elboy had a nice bogey save here back in the day, though, so we'll give Elboy some credit. Some of these clips come in as mobile, so I don't know. It just doesn't... Uh... Nice little Ooh, bogey save from, like, 50 out. Um, how about Undertale? We'll go back to Undertale. Come on, slow dick. We've got to be this on target with this man. part. Just oh, missed breaking. the high side. Right down the slope. It went in the water. <laughs> oh, no. And then they put him across the way. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of drop zones. Part. You can kind of see it between his legs too. Just stop breaking. Oh yeah. A little glimpse yeah. of it going yeah. rolling yeah. right I, off. I, it's I, too I, funny. Yeah. It went in the water. It went in. Oh, I missed it. It went in the water. <laughs> Yeah, his face is priceless. All right, how about on some putts that were actually made? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> well, Classic. that'll do. And after that hole, you are one Wait, what? On your friend. What? <laughs> that just oh blow my right god! And wait, oh, is it going to come back? <laughs> yes, yes, it well. is. And he had no idea. <laughs> the reaction after is great too. What? Pure confusion. All right, we got a Jebi one. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks. Well, oh, like that was shit. Is for birdie. Right up through the valley of sin. Oh, Ian. You might be on oh, your way to God. quite a little streak here. Two birdies in a that row. That was a nice putt, Jim. Yeah, very on. nice. Yeah, I think we're going to... Those ones are that. always difficult to navigate. This is Fig. Oh. 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 No. Yep. Wow. That hole's <laughs> got a gravitational pull. I love how he already has his, his character's animations already yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah, already it's like, oh, i missed ah, it shit. Blew right past <laughs> and then there's no reaction to when it actually does go in and then yeah. finally this one by colby straight works too i guess
Well, this is just kind of disgusting. I mean, that's we're being I completely. I'd believe that. May, may, maybe a little more real better. here. Just hit the thing. The ball streamer. I don't really cop. You're that right. We did eagle it. Just like kind of the reaction and combination. So um, I'm going to, I don't know. Do you guys have any favorites from that list in general? In terms of putts, I'd uh, a bulldog or, or Colby for me. I I, th I I think it has to go to bulldog just because of his reaction. The reaction I, is yeah, just, I wouldn't be mad at that. Yeah. All right, I, th I think we're going to just unanimously give this one to Bulldog. The other ones were kind of trolls with Uber, Undertale. Jeb had a good putt. Elboy had a good putt. Figs was just kind of lucky, but, like, the reaction from Bulldog is just priceless. Everyone remembers that one when you go back and see it. So congrats to Bulldog as putt of the year. All righty. Um, shot of the year we'll do last. The go-in of the year. I didn't really have many su submissions. I have... One from Apex Hound. He would, he didn't submit it, but uh, we'll review it, and then we'll pretty much just nominate. The, we'll just give this award to Seamount. my mind, bro. We'll we'll do a little Seamount celebration. Oh, lovely! Introduce He's gonna make um, another forty-five cents from us. Folks, the Red Fast Review is brought to you by Chevrolet with their first ever all-electric Equinox. Legit, they that's just anyone. I can thing. really use it right now. Oh, be good. Hopefully this be one good. sticks nice for us. Oh my god, it is enough. And come back. More than enough. What? Go in. I dare you to go in the hole. Oh my god, go in! Go in! Yes! <laughs> um, oh, you know what? There was actually... So there's, there's that. And then there was one that I really wish I had the full clip. But unfortunately, we couldn't find it. I was working with Hudab to oh, find it this, because he like had a driver. Yeah, he hit a par four. It was this one, but it starts. The clip get starts right here at 292. Yeah. He said get in the hole at like literally 200 yards. Yeah. Get in the hole! I remember that. <laughs> get in the hole! Just all the way there. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Get in there! Terry. Oh my oh, gosh! Love it. The Ace Patras. I wish we had the full clip, but that's that's all we got. And we'll, we're gonna just give uh we'll do two nominations for C Mount here, a couple couple of his his uh better ones. Ah, might be a hole in one, guys. This might go in. <laughs> we should just start drinking right now. Oh my word. It, Team out. Told you. you Bang! That's oh, I love it. That might be a whole that, one. That might be one of my favorite clips of the year, to be honest. We're 49 yards off off the tee box. Yes. <laughs> this might go in. We should Not even looking. Just start drinking right now. <laughs> Told you. Bang! That's a hole of oh, one, ladies it. and gentlemen. I think that one has to get it, but uh, I had one back more. To back to Eagles. Eagles. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, who could forget this one? This is to get the best swing I could hit on it right here. Oh my Come god! Come on, baby, be close. On Twitch. Go. You got Oh my it. god, go in, go in for eagle, go in to make the cut. Bang! Are you fucking kidding me right now? That was god, an eagle man. on the thirty-sixth hole to make the cut. So that the, the the amount of implications that one had were far far more substantial but the first one was just too funny like how soon off the tee like the, the how soon people sometimes call, called for it were hilarious seabound does it the best though it's like every single time right off the tee <laughs> it inspired yeah. the award yeah it, it was a little late Bang! it was a little late for eagle right. go in to make the cut for eagle yeah he, oh he, my god go in go in yeah, it was Eagle. at 213. Going to make the cut! Yeah, only four yards out, really, so... Um, definitely the first one. Uh, gonna get the nod there, I think. All right, we have uh, the slow side of the year. So this one is bad tempos, good results. And so, I mean, I figured... 
where else to go but like you know we're gonna need some you know mediocre players to uh find some bad tempos so here's our first clip this is by the man the name of rob lobster 43 what is this for oh god I slow really... side how is that slow i'm the best <laughs> maybe maybe we shouldn't have shown that one a little, little fast forward there. I know that this is uh, this is, <laughs> this is really going to be a replay. Oh, I know. This is what the replay? I know you're streaming. <laughs> that's that's a good bird miss. This is this is a goddamn to make sure game. everything is okay because we have some serious lightning right now. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. No worries. Alrighty. Um. And like I said, you know, didn't have to go far to find some uh, mediocre Let me talent. Tell you. Let go me ahead. tell you. That is one of the best overlays in the history of the PGA community. It's really. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm kidding. It, it, yeah, took me, uh, it took me a couple of streams to figure out what it was. And then I think Stiff or someone said something in chat. And I was like, oh, my God, that's what it is. That's fantastic. That, that is the most underrated overlay in the history of the PGA streaming community. And I cannot believe I never got the, the, the <laughs> credit I deserve for that. No, I, I agree. <laughs> You're not wrong. Speaking of not going far, also nominated Mad Moose. Maybe get ourselves <laughs> a little pleated pants top 10 very fast. Oh, the, the left pre line face cam. Unbelievable. Saved us. We get a kick to the left. And look at this chat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Have you ever seen a shot so beautiful? <laughs> the Albatross. Oh uh oh. I even got it right. That one was the Albatross. <laughs> And like uh, I said, I really wasn't going too far from the tree. This one's from Bear. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. But this oh, is where oh, I oh, said the time. round continues. Yeah. All right. On the dick green. A little bit of a gray fast. fast. But an Albi oh on a morbid rain that course. Never been played better. That's an Albatross oh, on a morbid oh, rain oh, course, folks. God. Yeah, you said it, Bear. <laughs> that is an albatross on a morbid rain course. Yeah, the very fast Albi was something. Um, yeah. Sticking with the theme. I never Go ahead. in my life. That, that is one of the most impressive shots that I've ever seen in this fucking game. Yeah, it Seriously. was, it was like, if, For those of you guys who have never played a morbid rain course. <laughs> that you need to do it for the new design, game, first of all. That design alone is meant A little bit of a gray fast. That's why it's in the shape of a fucking dick. Mm -hmm. We do that. There's no That's way you hold the green and you go in the hole. On the dick green, said the round he continues. Out a heavy rough. Oops. Fair. Right. Oh. We are all on the dick green in your chess game of life. <laughs> on master. Continues. Yeah, look at that green. That's what I was trying to get up. <laughs> it's all red. Chess is not. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, sticking with the theme. Gilbride's clip. No, no, I, I don't have myself, but other people that were on the pod. This is by the name of Ginger oh, okay. Me. Like take a full oh, man. This, so. Oh, he is so sexy. Oh, I hesitated big time. That was just awful. What the hell? <laughs> It <laughs> doesn't quite go in, but still, like, it, especially when it's, like, completely not intended, just like yours, Rob, it's like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, we might have something here. Oh, uh, uh, Discord's all screwed up. Sorry about that. I think we're back. Alrighty. Um, all right, and final clip. Rundown, man. Sorry for headphone users, by the you way. I know uh, it's too late now, but I'm sorry. Wardrobe. Yeah, right? Oh, and that's slow! Get a monster kick off that, please! No way! No way! You're kidding me! Oh my god! <laughs> what, what is that accent? Man? This for birdie! Run down. There's no way that's real. Got it, nine! <laughs> <laughs> So I think those were all some go good down, ones. Go down to the Wawa and get yourself a water ice. Any uh, any particular favorites? I know I know there's going to be some bias involved here. Yeah, it's, I it's can't. Bears. Uh, it's bears. It's bar none. Bears is good. I I don't I, I don't feel like we can award it now. Okay. 
who's not going to be on the uh, uh, vote? Fucking, I, I, don't wanna make, I don't want to make that decision either. Yeah, Moose. Run down the fuck out of here with your accent. Moose did hit a very fast and it goes in. Gingers didn't go in. Um, Rob's. Give me something in this world, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll give. We'll give it to Moose, Rob, as proof that Rundown, and uh, Bear. How about that? So Ginger unfortunately gets the snub there, but uh, anyways, Black all right. Um, is that the last one? Okay, last one. Shot of the year, and this one I have a bunch of clips for. Ooh, here we. And here so, we're, so we're definitely we going to a go. poll on this one. Is what yeah, saying. yeah, we'll have to do a poll. So yeah, I mean. Down to four. Some of them, some of them are just quality. Some of them are just okay. We're gonna start out with one of my favorite streamers, Mr. Dobie Diesel. That's gotta be the dart shot, right? Just yeah, definitely. One. I'll play that. I'll definitely play it through there. Maybe I can play it right here. This one's heading for the green. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. oh. Watch that again. Maybe I could play it right here. This one's heading for the green. On the bounce. Oh, Get the fuck oh, out of here! <laughs> the one hopper from Dobie. Lovely little ace there. Okay, so keep that one in the bank. I have two for Hemo. Two of them. Oh my. <laughs> nice update, buddy! <laughs> nice update, buddy! <laughs> that was the day they took away the red fast and he hit it, he hit it perfect and of course it trickles in like that. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a moment on his face where he's like, man, that was so close to going in when it's just sitting on the ledge, right? Right? Oh, maybe yeah. not. No, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. Nice update, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. All right. Think we can get under it. Here's another one from Hemo. Great hat. Is it, though? The hat, not the... what the hat represents. Yeah, moose. You heard it here first on the Red Fast Review. Moose supports <laughs> the Chicago Blackhawks logo. Oh my, yes, we did. Go in. Hmm? Yes! Pre-matching Albatross! Pre-matching Albatross! Let's get to 700 subs! Pre-matching Albatross! Pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-
textbook lex <laughs> textbook. Dur- during <laughs> during his elite round two this one should have been I'm, I'm mad i didn't remember it for bounce of the year you guys are going to instantly remember it but this i mean very well could be up for shot of the year too even though we know the end result hmm. <laughs> I feel like if the, the game just has to make that go in next time, it, like that has yeah. to be the the game has to be smart enough to audible that into a, into a hole in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Have a gopher come out of the fucking ground, creates a fucking break to the left. Yeah, go. know that it's literally going to be on ESPN. Like, n- not even joking. Yeah. Like, th- they would show something like that. Um, that was Ant. Here's Fish. Rob loves Skip. Love Fish's clip. Fish Skip. clips. Skip. Skip. Oh. I'm just kidding. Sit down a little bit. Down a little bit. Sit down a little bit. Sit down a little bit. Back oh my door. fucking god! Did you see that shit? Did you see that shit? That's an albatross! That's an albatross! <laughs> <laughs> that's sick. Uh, that was that's sick. sick. Let's go. You fuck. That's sick. Uh, God damn that's it, Piss. I love you so goddamn much. I might, I might have that as a sound bite of, of, of my streams going forward. Just the. That's sick. That was <laughs> that's sick. sick. Let's go. I oh, I love, love it. that. So pure. Here's uh, Jimmy really Boredom. Is. Oh, this was this was bounce of the year, but it also it acted like this. they want to actually fix it. Oh my god. Oh my god! What a shot! We already know that one. Oh, here's Sloner. This shot is something. I I have a late contender. I can either throw it in chat or the Discord. Sure. I have I have two more. Wait, who is it? Hey. Where is this one going? Uh, you'll see. I you I know. know you don't have him. If you do, then I just want to go in. Him. Please go in. Greatest shot ever. The what the mean, fuck? I... Through the tree, Sandwich. out of the rough, through the trees. Didn't get nominated just for that shirt. Yo. Mm. Ugh, just Go so in, gross. Man, all right, Greatest next. Shot ever. Oh, I know. In all right, let's what look at mooses. Where, where is yours, moose? Did you chat it in right, Discord? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm putting it. Work. Oh, do you, where do you want it? Um, yeah, put it in Discord. Hello? Yeah. Not. Are you kidding me? Hang on. We have two more, and I'm finishing. I'm finishing off with the two strongest. What I think. All right, there it is. Oh my God! Yep, yeah, I don't have this one. I'm happy I was able to find it. This one by Rob. <laughs> oh, this is. That's in not. Bad. Ooh, I recognize this hole. That's money. Look at it, this fish. Oh! oh God! What could have been? What the fuck? Why does the Lord hate me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dunks it on a par that's, three. Already. That's that was uh, at, at at Augusta. Like that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that, that's one of my... Uh, on the uh, same uh, train of thought. Stiff, Stiff's reaction is my favorite part of that. <laughs> no, I know. The only negative that this clip has, and the only negative, is that it's the way it is on a replay, and there's no like facial cam. If we ever had a face cam okay. for this, my good. Oh, actually, you guys are gonna have to watch on stream because I have like a downloaded file for it. Okay. Okay, I am gonna play it right now. This is Lahi. <laughs> okay. One more time. Dude, no way. <laughs> no way. Str- what Rob should have had. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I I swear, in most most of the time we've seen that in this game, it ends up being out of bounds or something. Yep. Yeah. Like I, to be honest, 
I forgot that was replay. I thought it was going to tell him like he had to take a draw penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of those stupid things. Yeah. And then this one that lives on forever, respawn. Oh. Oh. Of course we're going for this. What the hell do I look like here? I don't think we're going to make it up on the green, but we're still going to go for it. Damn legend. Oh, no, it's just all the shape. Oops, I've been on the wrong tab the whole time. That's right. Look, yeah, look at that sw swing, too. Perfect. Maybe this gets super lucky and rolls all the way down towards the hole. <laughs> Holy cow! Get out of here. No way. No way! <laughs> yes! Holy shit! <laughs> That is Let's probably go! the greatest game in the history of the. That's probably like the here. We're gonna make it up on the green. But we're still gonna go. The history of golf video game. Gotta be up there for real. Like the the roll that this thing takes, and on top of it, it what's the? the uh, for sure. Like, do we have a yard? No oh, two seventy three away too. We're going for this. What the hell Driver do I look like deck. here? I don't think D. we're gonna make it up on the green. And then we're still the gonna difficulty. Go for it. It's on masters. Yeah, yeah. the shape. Nails the tempo. Couldn't be any better. We actually would have. No. He feathers it right at the top of the hill. Very, very Maybe lightly. Gets right super here. Super lucky and rolls all the way down towards the hole. Oh, That's he it, did. though. Uh, <laughs> That's God. it. Oh, it's respawn. Maybe next time. <laughs> Disqualified. <laughs> Get out of here. No way. No way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how can you beat that? Holy so. I think it's going to have to, my personal votes are going to be that one, the Lahi Dunk. Um, mm -hmm. What else do we have? Fish's Backdoor Albi was honestly pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fish has my vote. If I, um, if I didn't yeah. narrow it, Go ahead. If I didn't narrow it down to four, mm -hmm. I would say this one. Mm -hmm. Hemo's first shot. I do like that he, one as well. The fish, yeah, and then and then Lahi's. All right, so we'll do that. So we're gonna put respawn, Lahi. We're gonna do Hemo's first day after the update. <laughs> yep. And fish. Nice update, pal. What does he say? Yeah, nice yeah. update, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and and the best uh, thing was is it wasn't even on Twitter. It wasn't even like an Good. official update. Like they never gave us anything. So that's why we were all like so sour about it because they, we had yeah. no patch notes or release anything. So like oh, everyone was pissed off. I didn't off. realize that was the clip that you. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the clip you put in Discord. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, Uber Uber's 100% right. And I think that's where it's going to kind of land. So it's, it's a combination of like the end result, which sure. like Lahi's. I, I think it has to be between probably Lahi's dunk and uh, I would respawn. Say but shot out of the bunker. At Tory Pines was luck because it would have been yeah yeah. There's def definitely more skill involved in uh, in respawn shot than any of those I would say. But anyways, mm -hmm. um, that's gonna that's gonna wrap it for uh, awards. What we're gonna recap it uh, probably next week. Um, I do have a which I I've been working on. I don't know if I've told you Moose and Rob specifically mm -hmm. a end of game video recap. Um, I do remember with, hearing about that. So I may have that ready for next week. If that's the case, it could be pretty much the entire podcast because it's going to be Is a this, long one. Yeah. So the last one you made was that wasn't for the one year, right? Was that the end of? It was what, kind of the end of the season. Point? It was kind of the end of the season, okay, right around gotcha, this gotcha, this gotcha. time. So it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be. I, I, I mean, obviously, more content here. So I'm. Yeah. I yeah, that should definitely get its own episode. Yeah, I mean, I, I say the whole pod. It like I'm thinking like 45 minutes might be honestly reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like so we, we have we'll a little see. discussion at the start and after, and then. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll keep you guys posted. It might be ready for next week. It's going to be the next week or the week after. So we have two. We have two episodes really before the official end of 2021, um, and we'll, we'll do that. Also, uh, news to break: we have a red fast review course being made by oh. Chewbacca rant um and it is currently in beta we we're again. doing some testing it's all I'm par threes and like short par fours so we're gonna well, all par no threes par and short par fours and we're gonna end the uh we're gonna end the tg the red fast review 2k 
2021 season on it, I believe. So not yeah. this week, but probably the next week. This week we're actually on Hemo Village, um, yeah, so we're playing that. Victory Lanes course. Uh, it was him, Tribe, and Hemo that collaborated to make that. Um, so excited to check out the results on that. Is there any way we can get okay. Headshot involved? Ooh, hey <laughs> Uh, let's give a quick rundown of the results on this past week. We did have 95 participants, which just still shocks mm -hmm. me that there's nearly 100 people playing the Red Fast Review when this game is literally completely out of its life cycle. But maybe everyone just wants to get all... all yeah, uh, prepping for the... Ex for the exactly. Game. All prep. Brennan wins at 3,600, 95 participants. This was Ash Meadows Blue, one of the two courses created by gareth irvine also known as eisenberg for the winner of the course designer competition uh there's ash Meadows blue and black so if you played blue on the red fast review last week go try ash Meadows black it's even a little bit more difficult um but let's run through the scores brennan vea brothers Co corp potomac bombs jonas darney h man rabino tuminator errs Bren uh brennan again so i mean I don't know if we're going to disqualify. He played twice, once on Xbox and once on PC, but I, good but, for him. But he won it on Xbox, so I think yeah, that's more. If you win it on Xbox, <laughs> I think it counts, right? Mikey Angelo, BJB, uh, Scoot, Map Collector, Juna, Ace Thoned, Undertale, Elboy, Jammy, uh, Progressive, Croc, Matt, uh, McGregor, J. Mitch, Hillman, SVF, Jordy Board, Dr. Egg, Coxter, The Big Hiya, Brett Sully, Jeb, Fatal Sludge, Yeet Troy, Uber, Turks Tea Time, Teddy Quad, Hemo, Condor, Condor, Undertale, Chewy, Seb Max, Rosie, Boredom, Viking Nate, Tapja, Sweet Billy Boy, Boosie, Super Tykes, Mr. Incredible, G Work, BCOZ, TFR, C Knight, D Fish, Millitime, Saucy, TCR, Fox, Big Hurt, Sidleverse, N Bonds, Tricked, Tricked Arrows, Caker, USN, Alba, Stealth Book, Level Mento, Palm Beach Guy, C Flow, Scooby Dog, Smoked, Happy Thrower, Baffle, Phoenix, Some Old Guy, Myself, A Rob, Memento, Mikey, Africa Mango, Dangerously Days, Corrupt, J Train, Cards Fan, Glasses Glazer, Humdinger, We David, Sports Lifer, M Scala, My Guy, Nolan Ryan, Guardiano, Rhea, McGuire, J Mac, and Destroyer, Dooku, all playing on the Red Fast Review. 95 participants. We are up to um, 430 unique players have played the Red Fast Review Ooh. since the inception. So thank you, everyone, that has played that thus far. Huge, huge shout out to everyone that has. And, um, you know, keep keep it up. We'll uh, we'll be continuing it in 2K23. So hopefully we can even uh, get, get off to a quick head start on that and be on one of those first few pages already. Um, let's see here. Okay. What... Let me pull it up here. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. There we go. Uh, this week, Content Creator of the Week. They just went through a rebrand. <laughs> Sorry about that. I did not know that was going to be playing because that's getting a living crap out of me. Um, goes. He's been in the community. You see him on, on the leaderboards all the time. His name is Johnny Emmerich. And just went through rebranding, going to be going hard in 2K23. We're concerned about him playing golf in the woods sometimes because he took, took uh, he was out there barefoot golfing in the woods. And uh, it was a bit oh, concerning. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to go with polling points. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, Chad. I, I, I nearly deaf myself. I'm wearing earphones. So, I mean... Um, anyways, polling points. Uh, he's been around for a while, and uh, like I said, just shy of a hundred followers. Um, here's his channel here. Let's take a look at some of his top clips. I didn't have uh, these ones specifically prepped. Ooh, Albi alert! Love to see that. I like the black. And he's always getting clawed by his cats too. But he, he's he's recently put he, he 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 he's put his face cam on after a little while. His stream getting buffed up a little bit. So love to see the uh, the work being put into That's the really channel. Good. It's gonna be beautiful. And on top of it, he's a plat player. He, he's very talented as well. Get in the fucking hole. Bang. He's he, was he, he's talking quietly like me because he's got a kid asleep too. I, I was you know, gonna say I was, yeah, that, yeah. that is kid voice. I don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do one more. This is on Elite Tour. Farm, though. Get in. Let's oh. fucking go. 
brings it back. He definitely uh, dims down the emotions a little bit because you, you can tell every once in a while it, you might catch a stream where he's able to let loose a little bit more. But uh, great, great guy, Johnny Emmerich, um, as you can see there on TGC Tours. Pulling Points is the name in um, in on, on the Twitch platform already. That's going to conclude it. Not terribly too long tonight. Only about an hour and 20, which we've been running a little bit long because of the award stuff in NFL. Exactly. So I think we uh, we paced it pretty well tonight, would you guys say? Well, definitely, that. for sure. Yeah, especially with the amount of stuff we had. Award shit that we did. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, last week's it was like it, we had like over an hour of NFL. We were like deep diving into yeah. every game. As yeah, much I, as I loved it, I'm like, this can't be good. <laughs> the pot, yeah. the pot went like I'm an hour. I'm not a 50. football guy, but I was watching that on my laptop, and I'd check back every now and then. Like, man, they're still talking football. Yeah, I mean, it was exciting. It's it's kind of just you know. Oh, for sure. Um, the first week, you know. But uh, anyways, what are you guys up to this week, Moose? Are you gonna hit a go live button now that you're all set up? Yeah, um, maybe not until the weekend. Uh, I do want to get uh, settled in. I'm not sure what my schedule looks like for the rest of the week. We get the first day of work uh, in a long time tomorrow. And then uh, the chair is coming as well. So that'll that'll be really nice. And then have someone coming to look at uh, my Ethernet ports because I'm plugged right into the wall, but I'm not getting any Ethernet. So I've been on Wi-Fi, which isn't terrible. Uh, fortunate enough to have fiber, but um, so that'll be a process Saturday morning, and then uh, we'll see how everything goes with the car. But yeah, hopefully uh, a little weekend stream. Very nice, very nice. What 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 games are you playing? Now? I mean, you probably didn't play many games, but are you going to be like uh, all for MLB first, or? The, yeah, yeah. So if I stream, definitely uh, MLB because I know I get a lot of catching up to do there. I don't think I'll ever catch up at this point, but uh, and then some golf as well. We have our. Uh, USN's hosting a tournament. I think I have about three days oh, to, yeah. uh, to get my match in there. I'm actually the one seed in the PC region, which, uh, so it's kind it's only a way. CC event. <laughs> um, yeah, no, trust me. I, I was, need that's, that's, that. that's a lot. That, that, Just that's for a lot of pressure. reaction. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I'd be yeah. the number three seed then. <laughs> yeah, so we get that coming up. Uh, we'll definitely stream that. Um, you know, regardless of the internet situation, but uh, we'll definitely post away on Twitter. But yeah, in terms of streams uh, upcoming within the next week or so, definitely some golf and MLB because um, we got to get ready for the new game. I still need to pre-order the new game too. But yeah, this is, I mean, this is honestly the first time I booted up my computer in probably close to a month. Uh, and it, it felt pretty good to to step away, but I definitely mm. missed uh, chat and missed you guys a lot. So absolutely, absolutely, get get yourself situated, and hopefully you're there for at least semi long term. You know. Yeah, yeah, I I think we'll be all right. Mm. What's going on in your neck of the woods, Rob? I know we're obviously not hitting the go live. You get trivia tomorrow. Yeah, br bring a trivia question yeah. or chat it to us each week because I would love like a like That's what the best sure. trivia question of the week was. You, you have any more sports ones from last week? I, I mean, I know that uh, one wasn't sports. I love a good um, sports one. We've so sports is often one of the most polarizing categories you can do in a uh, mm -hmm. trivia environment. Uh, one from yeah. about a few weeks ago. What team has the most retired numbers in sports? In, in American sports. sports, Boston Celtics. Um, in American shoot. sports. Yeah, I'm going with Celtics. Moose? Uh go with the go with the Lakers. It is the Boston Celtics. Mm. Yeah. Um I I uh w I <laughs> for the first two weeks I also had a song or a, a question about the WNBA each week, which I <laughs> thought was really funny. Uh <laughs> because it just it's it's like saying uh we're not getting any questions right. Or like nobody's getting this question right. Yeah. Any WNBA like I should include who wins the who won the uh WNBA championship this this week because uh it just it happened, was, right? Yeah. Um my music yeah, round because yeah. what I can't do on Twitch, what I was able to do in real life yeah. is a music round, which is fucking mm -hmm. incredible. I love that. So, you, you, sorry, really random. You ever see but, the show Beat Beat Shazam? Yes, with uh Jimmy Fox. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, continue. Uh, I had 
I would play a song and you had to tell me which baseball team plays it after they win. Oh, I like that. Ooh, that's kind of fun. So, Florida, my house is uh, the Miami Marlins because it's Florida. Yeah. And then the cool thing was like certain things, like uh, if you know anything about Prince, uh, when which team plays "Let's Go Crazy" by Prince? Uh, probably it's just all baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the Twins. I can tell you. That is correct because like people who don't know, he's from Minnesota. Like, right, you have you have something to go off of as an actual exactly. guess, as opposed to it's like just a fact. Like who who led the league in passing touchdowns in two thousand twelve? Like it's that, that's yeah, just a fact it's, it's instead of like an actual yeah. cool trivia angle. Yeah, I get that. And so the people who know where Jimi Hendrix was born can know that this team plays "Fire" by Jimi Hendrix after every win. Mm-hmm. I, I don't the Seattle know Seattle Mariners. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, not have been in my top stuff, three guesses. Stuff like that. Interesting. Interesting. I'll, uh, I'll come up That's with a good cool. sports question this week for you. Yeah, it doesn't have to be sports. I I, I just always gravitate towards oh, that because it's. I love getting creative with the wording. Yeah. So stuff like this. Due to the pres- due to the presence of excessive methane gas, what is the dominant color of Uranus? <laughs> so everyone said brown, but it's blue. Green, no, it's blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. I don't say. <laughs> People are Interesting. I thought Neptune was blue. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I was thinking of. I, don't, I mean, aren't towards the end, aren't they all kind of bluish? Eh, whatever. Besides like Jupiter, Saturn. Who knows? I can't remember the order. Mars is red. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, anyways, I'm going to be playing my match versus Love Scud. I've been uh, posting on YouTube quite a bit. So if you guys want to check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, no uh, golf YouTube this week, but uh, should be some Madden games up there playing the Bespoke League. Really enjoying that. Um, you know, fun. It, it's It's been a grind against the computer games. Madden is difficult this year, so, um, you know, help out the YouTube channel is uh, the one thing I could ask. But let's, um, you know, let's try to watch some more golf here if you're into that you're probably you're probably watching this because you are uh we have we have someone live who i haven't seen live in ages he designed jagged edge he goes by the name of airman it is uh channel is for mature audience mature audiences only apparently is what it's saying so um but he's got uh he's got a good good crowd over there let's go support his uh return back to streaming because i don't think i've seen him hit the go live button in ages yes memento mikey i don't think i've seen it in ages but uh thank you guys good luck on your cuts and uh rob you want to do bears honors what what am i doing we're saying goodbye to moose oh i'm bear have a great day everyone Suck it, Moose. Oh, fuck. My bad.